Good afternoon, Mr. Nicolan and Antel board members. There's no secret that society is increasing their awareness about the environmental footprints that are left by companies. In 2011, the European Union conducted a survey on European citizens and asked the question, what is the world's biggest problem? Climate change came in at second, just behind poverty. Governments and societies are putting large pressures on companies to have better environmental policies. So what if there was a way to help solve a societal need and benefit Ansel's economy as well? What if there was a way to help reduce the environmental footprint that Ansel leaves whilst increasing its net profit? What if there was a way that we could share value at Ansel? Of the five materials used by Ansel to create a glove, four of them are non-decomposing and harm the environment in landfill and when incinerated, leach carbon dioxide and hydrochloric acid into the Earth's atmosphere. The four materials, nitrile, neoprene, polyisoprene and vinyl, unfortunately do need to be incinerated after being exposed to medical waste, as depicted by the laws and guidelines in the Environmental Protection Waste Management Regulation 2000. However, by redesigning Ansel's glove packaging and delivery, we can help reduce the environmental impact of the gloves whilst reducing the cost of goods and increasing sales. The new design of the package is to change the old cardboard delivery boxes into a new clinical waste bin. The clinical waste box doubles as a return to Ansel box, where once all of the gloves inside are used and put back into the clinical waste bin, it is transported to the newly established Ansel Recycle and Disinfection Plant. Here the gloves undergo intense disinfection and are recycled into a raw material ready to be moulded again by, into that famous Ansel glove. The clinical waste boxes are disinfected and returned to Ansel's production plant, ready to be filled with the next batch of fresh gloves. The benefits of the strategy are crucial for the survival of Ansel's medical segment. First of all, we look at the reduction of the environmental impact. This program will lead to far less gloves incinerated or being put into landfill. It is aimed at medical professionals who use and dispose of Ansel's gloves on a daily basis. The second benefit will be the reduction in cost of goods. Being able to recycle your own product and then resell it to the market at the same price will make a huge impact on Ansel's overall net profit. As depicted by the graph displayed, you can see the increasing demand for unnatural latex, which is an environmentally destroying substance. Another benefit is the ability to appeal to current consumer behaviour habits by showing Ansel cares for the environment and therefore seeing an increase in sales. The plan is to implement this recycle strategy using three phases. The first phase will focus on research and development of recycling methods. It is already proven that it is possible to recycle nitrile, however, a method will need to be developed to, cost, to be cost efficient and produce high quality materials. The second phase relates to the construction and recycle of the disinfection plant that it is on a large enough scale to handle the volume of gloves whilst producing that high quality raw material. The last phase highlights the importance of advertising and promotion as without participation, the project will ultimately be a loss to the company. Unfortunately, as with every project, it is not foolproof and comes with associated costs and risks. The project will have to contribute costs to research and development. However, Australian tax law states that Ansel will be able to claim a non-refundable tax offset to cover these expenses. The second related cost will be attributed to the construction of the recycle and disinfection plant, staff wages to maintain the plant, creating the purpose-built clinical waste boxes, and advertising and promoting the program. The last related cost is comparing the environmental effects of the chemicals compared to what the current gloves give. The project shows two risks, the first being operational where the possibility of cross-contamination exists. This is highly unlikely if the research and development stage is done correctly. The second risk of the program is a strategic and discusses the lack of participation. It is unprobable that medical professionals will not want to use this program as it will reduce their current costs they pay for the incineration of their clinical waste bins. When measuring the success of this program, two key metrics will be used. The first metric will be participation and simply show whether consumers appreciate the idea of saving the environment. The second metric will be Antel's earnings per share. This is the most relevant ratio for the project as it will consider the reduction in cost of goods 
increased sales and cash outflows paid to the, to the creation of the plant, maintenance of the plant, and new staff wages. It is my recommendation that Ansel advance with the first step of the project, research and development. The potential benefits of the program are too substantial to not pursue the opportunity. By beginning with just the research and development stage, ANSA will be able to make a judgment on the feasibility of the project and whether the recycling method is cost efficient and as environmentally beneficial as thought. With a project that fits your company like a glove, I ask you, Mr. Nicolin, as the CEO of ANSA, to consider my project to help protect the environment for future generations to come. Thank you.